Welcome to McCacken 2022. It is Sunday morning. Been judging all day yesterday and uh, just now I've had a chance to actually walk around. Let's check it out. Lots of wing cars. There's a whole other batch out the front. This is really not gonna be a very super informative video except for the fact that I wanna show you what you guys are missing if you haven't been here before. This is absolutely the best muscle car show on the planet. And you're missing out if you're anywhere near Chicago, even if you're not. This is where you wanna be if you're a muscle car guy or gal or Corvette person. Hell, they got they have a 53 Buick Skylark, Skylark and a 58 limited convertible here. Everything's here. Super cool. Barn farm, the barn find car section. I'll show you that here in a second. The Buick Club of America, Chicago Land Chapter has set up a booth as they usually do every year. And uh, 70 GSX, an Apollo White, owned by Joe Pratt. I did a quick paint correction on this car about a month ago before the show, and it turned out fantastic. This is such a good, gorgeous car, and I'm always glad he brings it here. Definitely a gold winner. A lot of times with these barn finds they'll have uh, some pretty cool stories attached to them and, and you know if they find them in this condition sometimes there's a block that's attached to it and uh, maybe you'll see this car in the next year or two at McCacken Restored. You just never know. 
That's why you gotta come back next year. Here's a neat one, 70 GS stage one, three speed manual, very rare car. Restored by, uh, I think it was restored by Dave Kleiner. It still has the wrapping around the uh, pedals from when Dave finished the car. Apparently when he uh, finished his car, he wraps the pedals so they don't get dirty. And I think this car has been sitting for a while, but I don't know for sure but it's here for the show. Very cool. Definitely something for everyone here. These bikes are so cool. wide array of vendors here from die-cast cars to shirts to car art some tools quite a bit of tools actually some swap meet items we're here a little early so uh, some vendors aren't here yet Jack Swax wise do Jack Swax guys doing their work. Hey, look at that. They've been busy this weekend. Here's Todd Miller's freshly restored 70 stage one. Dip matte blue with white perlite interior. Super, super clean car. We judged this car yesterday and it did very well. Clear glass. I don't think that's clear. No, it's soft ray. Sure looks pretty clear though. Very nice car. Next to it is Mike Jackson's another GS Stage 1 3 speed. One of four apparently. Super clean car. Burnish saddle with burnish saddle interior. And Mr. Hunter's car, I can't remember his son's name. Let's see what we got. Casca. 70 stage one. A little bit more heavy duty. Uh, Swap meat items here. Dun dun dun. They're closed. Too early. Sunday morning. Party too much last night. Snowman snowmobiles. <clears throat> There's a really cool little tool booth here. Has a whole bunch of little trinkety items like brushes and sockets and needle nose pliers that you'll never find at any other parts store. Or tool store for that matter. They're Chinese, likely, but uh, I usually get a handful of stuff here every year. And then Inline Tube also has a booth. They have a lot of the uh, more common items here for sale today, or at the show, I should say. And then you can order some stuff from them as well. But they've got some great stuff. There's several different levels in this convention center. This is another one. This is right next to the barn finds. Barn finds are over there. A lot of radical cars, cars that don't necessarily fit into a group. Um, 
but nonetheless very interesting. Some have their own uh, groups, like this one right here is Midwest Door Slammers. Pretty cool tow rigs. Really, really nice. 86 Grand National. Here's one that not a lot of people consider when thinking about a muscle car. Studebakers. Avanti. Wow. Bonneville record holder. Very cool. These are such unique cars. Interesting. There's a very large display of Corvettes here. And they're still way more all over the place. Here's a really neat little display back here. It's a vintage certification. You can uh, bring your car in if it's a very well-preserved, low-mile, well, maybe not low-mile, but well-preserved car that's not restored. This is where you want to be. And what they do is uh, they'll get your car up on a lift, look under it, and certify it as a uh, unrestored vehicle. I don't know all the details about it, but it sure does show with some of these cars, these being such fine, unrestored examples. Yeah, and I think to your point, I would not be worried about it. It can be really difficult to believe that some of these cars are unrestored, but there's a reason why they're back here and why it's such a special display. This is going to be the location of all the uh, boards. This is also where, also where they do the sem seminars and uh, guest speakers. Ooh, look at that. Performance wagons. Isn't that the coolest thing? <laughs> Very cool. Nice display. Here's an interesting one. A whole massive display of Malays era cars. A lot of G-bodies. Some colonnade stuff. This one's super clean. And a lot of these cars are still well-preserved originals. Some are restored. Here's a group of 67s. Class of 67 is what they're calling it, Invitational. 67 Rev GS, GS 400. I think that's a four speed. Look at that factory four speed. A lot of convertibles, a really nice black hard top here. Very special display here. A lot of the Buick and Buick guys like to see this. This is Richard Lasseter's old blue stage one, 70 stage one, that was the cover car for the supercar sh shout out, shout out, shut out, shoot out with uh, this 70 GTX. Both of the actual cars in the article from 
somewhere in the mid 80s, 85, March 85. Very cool, Richard is here somewhere. I think the original owner of this car is not here, but his uh, representative is. Very cool. Mopar City. There's some, there's one Herstold, 72 Herstolds back there. Really cool car, a vinyl top car. when you come in this is a complete carbon fiber creation really cool this was an unveiled car yesterday there are typically about 20 premier unveilings at this show every year we did one of them last year with the 70 teal mist stage one convertible that's another unveil car but the big feature this year in the red carpet is the wing cars, Superbirds, Daytonas. And, I mean, I, there's got to be 20 right here. And then they have another half dozen of her down the line a little bit. More automobilia stuff there, art and whatnot for sale, t-shirts. Some of these as well are original cars. I didn't believe that one is. Maybe, no, maybe it's that orange one over there. I was talking about I'll take that one and we're back at the 67s here so yesterday we had judging and uh, the 72x got judged and the uh, 72 sun coupe that you've seen in the last couple videos was judged I do not know the outcome of those judgings, and there's the uh, 72 stage one that I did last year. He did not have his car judged, though. He's just here for the fun. I think he would have done just fine, and not to mention, so we've got the red 72X and the Cortez Gold 72X that just got purchased by uh, fellow Canadian Gordon Martin, and so we have two of the 44. 72 GSX is here, which is unheard of. So just to put a little bit of perspective into what goes into setting this show up, just the Buick section here, the 72s and the 67s, we dumped all the cars here that we had here on Thursday night, and then Friday they kept coming in. And it took us from eight in the morning all the way to you know 4.30 in the afternoon just to get everything set up where we wanted it. We wanted to start judging because we had 15 cars to judge, and it takes about an hour per. But we didn't. So yesterday we ended up splitting into two teams and judging. And it still took us until about 6 o'clock to get finished up. But it's a monumental effort on everybody's part to make this happen. And uh, I'm very tired. <laughs> and probably getting sick because of it. But it's so fun. Well, right now I'm going to put the camera down and try to enjoy myself for Sunday. That I didn't get to yesterday. Michael Salaka, 
with the 1972 Buick Grand Sport GSX. Michael Sabatka with the 1972 Buick GS Stage 1. John Thayer with the 1968 Buick GTX. Dean Trexler with the 1978. Well, folks, that's a wrap. The end of Macaca 2022. Has gone way too fast as it usually does. Uh, congrats to all the winners. Uh, the Sun Coop that we got ready was, was a gold winner, and the 72 GSX received a silver award, which we actually expected less than that, and I'm pleasantly surprised. So, uh, just gonna kind of watch the cars unload and head out and get some dinner. Let this stuff kind of thin out. Hey Jerry! <laughs> well, we're all packed and ready to go. If you guys have not been to this show, it is a not to miss event. Especially if you're into these cars, man. It's just absolutely fantastic. The best cars on the planet. Make time next year, same time, same bad channel, same location. See you next time.